The proof of which is that one of the men that was sitting with the Prophet ﷺ when he said, I know something that if he were to say it, then he would, uh, you know, th- then he would be able to do away with that anger. Uh, one of the men that was sitting with the Prophet ﷺ said, well, let me go tell him, right? So he went to the man and he told him. So the man responded, he, he turned his anger towards him. He says, Atura bi ba'sun? A majnoon ana adhab? You know, ana adhab? Am I... Am I crazy? Do you think I'm crazy? Do you think I'm insane? Do you want me to go? You go away, you know? So he, he flipped out on the guy instead, right? So he, instead of the, the object of his anger being the person he was already fighting, now he's fighting with the other person, right? And the Prophet understood that wisdom. So you're not going to turn someone's habits or give them the process, the, the right processing mechanisms in the midst of their anger. But again, the Prophet said, Sta'ith billah, seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the shaitan, from the accursed devil. And, uh, you know, some of the scholars, they say that in some of the narrations, the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa said, say, a'udhu billah is samir alim al shaitan al rajim. I seek refuge in Allah from the all hearing and the all knowing from the accursed devil. And they said that is a better form of isti'adha, a better form of seeking refuge in the midst of anger. Why? Because you remind yourself that Allah hears and Allah knows. Okay? So it, it, you're still achieving, uh, removing the shaitan, but you're also bringing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and reminding yourself of two core attributes in the midst of that debate or that, that discussion or that anger that you have. And again, this isn't a huge annoyance. This is, this is just in the midst of a heated argument and things get heated really, really, really quickly. So say, A'udhu billah samir alim al shaitan rajim. I seek refuge in God, the all hearing and the all knowing from the accursed devil. Bring Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala into you. Yeah, into that, that, uh, scenario like that. The second thing is wudu. The Prophet Sallallahu said to do wudu. Every single time, uh, I've gone to any of those websites about anger management tips, you'll always see something about washing the face, cooling off, right? Go wash your face, take a break. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, uh, he said, uh, for people to, to take a break and to actually do wudu. So what's the connection between those two things? Well, number one, the Prophet ﷺ said, Al-ajalatu min shaytan Haste is from the devil. Haste is from the devil. Shaytan is going to try to make you say as many damaging things as possible before you come to your senses. So he's going to hurry you up. Speak, speak, do, do. He wants you to act in the point of action. He wants you to act in the midst of uh, uh, your, your anger. And so he wants you to hurry up and say as much as you want. So don't say these two words. You know what? You're, you're already throwing some hurtful comments. Go ahead and add a third one. You know what would be a knockout punch right now? Right? Throw that one in there too. Bring this into the discussion. Bring this into play. So Shaytan's going to try to get you to pile on as much as possible in that short period of time so that you can say as many things that contribute to his ultimate goal of no return. And what did Allah mention? الَّذِي يُفَرِّقُ that the devil loves to, to, to pull apart a couple. And it's not just the husband from the wife or the wife from the husband. It's, it's, it's children, it's parents, it's all of those things. Shaytan wants to make these points of no return, right? So what did the Prophet Sallallahu say? Don't act in haste. So he said, if you're standing up, sit down. If you're sitting down, lay down. But, but just don't act. Be quiet. Don't say anything. If you're that upset, take a break. Take a break. And everyone in the household should, should afford each other that opportunity to take a break. You're really upset right now. You know what? Go ahead and, and, and just, you know, sit, 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 sit with yourself. It's okay. I understand. You don't want to talk right now. That's good. Just take a break. It's better to not say anything than to say something hurtful. However, prolonged periods of silence, and this is sort of the disclaimer, prolonged periods of silence, uh, can actually be weaponized in a more harmful way than, than, than conversation. That's why, the Prophet Sallallahu gave, a, you know, a, a had limitations to those periods of silence. The period of silence should not be a hurtful uh, weapon in and of itself. The period of silence to, should be enough to allow the, the shaitan to be removed uh, from that point of anger so that you can, so that you're not acting in that point of anger or saying anything in that point of anger. So it's not like I'm not going to talk to you. It's let me take some time. Give me, let me just take a few moments. Let me take a few minutes. Let me take a break. Let me pull off to the side, right? Uh, 